Hi, welcome to educators.com. I'm Shavanti, your Hadoop instructor. In this module, we are going to discuss about the PIC command. Some of the PIC commands so load, dump, store, limit, filter. Load command. Whatever the data you are having it, if you process that data with the help of the PIC, you must need to load that content into your pig grunt shell. So to load this content you will be using a load statement. For that what we are going to see is let me show you the data set and after discussing the data set I'll show you how to load that content. So here I just logged into my Cloudera Quick Start VM and to this video I have attached the input file which is where a data set. Just double click I and mean, just drag and drop that to your uh, machine to your uh, Linux operating system I mean your Cloudera Quick Start VM. And this is the input file which consisting of all the weather information. This is the weather data set location. IT is Italy and that will be having a unique location ID. And this is the data set detail. Like on the 1800 year 0101, what is the temperature? Maximum temperature is so and so. And the is so and so. And the rainfall is zero. Like that you will be having the all the weather details as part of this. So we are going to process this particular uh, weather data set file with the help of the PIC. So as I mentioned you, first you must need to load this data set into your PIC. But before that, you need to place that into the Hadoop. If you place that file into the Hadoop, what we are going to do is open your uh, terminal. And this file is exist as part of your desktop. Alright, you can see your uh, weather data set.csv is there in the desktop. So first let's place that into the Hadoop distributed file system. We can do that with the help of the copy from local command which is home cloud era, the desktop and uh, this one is weather data set.csv. So this file we wanted to place that into the Hadoop distributed file system directly. So let's call it as weather data set. That means with the help of the copy from local, we are loading this file into my Hadoop distributed file system. Yeah, that is hyphen Hadoop FS hyphen copy from local. Yeah, now it loads the data into your uh, Hadoop distributed file system. Once it is done, it is there. If you wanted to cross verify whether the data has been successfully copied or not, Give the correct name, it is case sensitive, whether data set, it displays the content. So now let's open our pig grunt shell and from the pig grunt shell let's load that data. So here it is open another, this one another shell, just execute pig or pig hyphen x map reduce, anything is fine to log into the map reduce mode. Let's open up a grunt shell. And now we can execute our load statement over here. Now what we are doing is we are just using a load statement. And if you see the statement, how you, you have to write your load statement is nothing but first of all you have to assign a specific uh, reference. So I'm just calling as this is a weather data set, I'm just calling it as a weather. After giving this reference, you must need to give some space over here after this quality and now load and which which file you are loading is nothing but this is the Hadoop distributed file system file weather data set and now using pig storage that means if you see the file which we have loaded that is the comma separated value so that is the reason why we are specifying how exactly our uh, uh, fields are separated so this is the Pick storage is the by default method, uh, how the fields are separated, you have to mention this. If it is separated by a tab, you have to mention a slash t. And then as, this, as we talk about the pig schema is not mandatory. If you wanted to specify all the details, you can directly give it with the help of the app. First one is the location clause. Right, see this, this is the data set. First one is the location, this is the year, this is the temperature details and the temperature value. Like that, you can clearly give those all the column details and also you have to specify colon and then the data type. 
here there is no string data type in the pig. If it is a string, we will be defining that as a character array. That is the reason why the location and the time and these things, so we are defining that as a character array. As the pig is a lazy execution, that means once I execute this statement, it is not going to show you any of the output until and unless you execute the another separate command called a dump. So here, I'm going to execute a dump command now, but before this, if you see this, reference I have given and the load which this file has to be presented in the HDFS and here you have to specify which of the how the fields are separated with and here you have to mention all the schema details. And now to execute I have to give a dump. Dump is the command. It submits the job to a cluster. That means it submits this job to the map reviews. This is the reference name is weather, right? So I have to give this as a dump weather. So if you observe now once you execute any of the map review job, how it's submitted to a cluster and how it is going to create a different input scripts and it is going to give you a, one of the job URL and application job URL like this URL to track everything over here. Once the job is executed, this dump statement will display the result on top of your screen itself. Output. All the output is getting displayed on top of your screen itself, like the location, the year, and the temperature details, and also the temperature values. You can see here it dump display the results on screen, and no action will be taken here until you execute uh, either a dump or store commands. That is what we call it as a lazy execution. But before executing the dump, it will check any of the syntactical or semantical errors are there that they check that. The execution will be, this will be submitted to your this cluster once you, are, once you execute, once you run the dump itself. And also here, we do have something called a store command. That means once after we process everything and if you wanted to store that back to your Hadoop distributed file system, you can use that store into command. With the help of that, you can store the same data set in here, how to distribute the file system. And also here, if you wanted to just store that, just give that store and give the reference, that is the weather, and store into where you wanted to store. This is the name I have given. So once this is executed, then once I go back and uh, check this particular uh, folder, my weather dot data, a new folder gets created and inside that you can see a part hyphen, r hyphen dot kind of part file, you can see as part of this similar to your map ready results how it comes. So this is how with the help of the store commands you can store any of your uh, processed data set back to your HDFS. And if you see this, the map ready program was done and it's stored. So if you wanted to cross verify whether it is stored, it's done in the HDFS or not, you can open another terminal or here Hadoop FF hyphen LF and the name of the file is the my weather data. Just check whether this particular my weather data has been successfully stored from the pig to the HDFS or not. If you see this, you can see a part file and also a success file. So the final output, you can directly see a cat. And then here you can see a part hyphen, a hyphen, five zero. So that displays the content of your uh, the pig file which you store. You can see the final content here. That is how you can load the data with the help of the load command, with the help of the pig storage methods, and uh, dump command to display the content on the screen, and uh, store command to store the data back to your Hadoop distributed file system. And here we also have the, some other commands called a limit. With the help of this limit command, suppose if you wanted to display only the first 10 records or any first 20 records. So with the help of the limit clause, we can simply give that number so that those many number of records get displayed to us. And we can just give few records, some any other name, just like a reference. And here the limit, and this is the reference, the earlier one where you loaded your data. And uh, 10 means it displays the 10 records. Yeah, I have to execute that into the branch shell. So this is my grunt shell. I can execute this uh, few records is equal to limit weather 10. 
you wanted to if you want to see those records as part of your screen, you must need to dump and the few records is the reference to display those 10 records. This is how you can use the limit clause. And sometimes you can see this little show, it is still at 75 percent. Once it is 100 percent is done, you can see the result on top of your screen. That are only 10 records. Yeah, so if you see the output, or you can see those uh, limit 10 that it displays only the 10 records. This is how the limit works. Similar way, we also have the filter command, especially it's like the where clause in your normal SQL. If you wanted to display only the records which satisfy some of the conditions, based on that conditions, you can see with the help of this filter clause. For example, in the same data set, if you wanted to display only the parts you can write the value. Like you can put any of these uh, conditions over here, similar to the where clause, how it works. So here we can execute the filter command, filter weather by term value. So this is just a column value, which uh, column name which you define. And whatever, suppose is the employee data you loaded, and if you wanted to see some salaries greater than so and so values, and also you can use n number of the condition, is the and clause or clause and like that you can even specify that. To display that uh, positive term, just dump that or you can see the result on top of your screen. These results are all the positive temperature values which satisfy this particular filter condition. So here you can see all the results, these are all the positive last values, the temperature values are positive and this is correct. That is how you can filter your uh, data from the existing data. So summary, in this module we have seen how to load the data into your page with the help of the load command. We also seen that the dump command to submit this job to the MapReduce cluster for the execution. Store is to store the data into the Hadoop distributor file system. The limit to display a fewer records, the less number of the records. And the filter is to put rare conditions and to filter the data. Unnecessary records you can remove and you can get only the record which satisfy that condition. Thank you. In the next module, we are going to see the another command which are for each generate group by, group by all. Do have the other command. Let's catch it in the next module.